All right, we're watching the uh, price of oil starting the day at more than a two-year high, and I think you can figure out what that's going to mean at the pumps. Let's get over to Mike Eppel with the answer that I think we know. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Melanie, good morning. The price of for gas is expected to go up over the course of this week. It's already around $1.24 here in the GTA, and uh, higher uh, pretty much everywhere you look, not just here in Canada, but in the United States as well. We always, always want to keep that in mind. They don't exactly, they get uh, less of a uh, price there, of course, because they don't pay quite as much uh, in taxes at the gas pump as we do here. But nevertheless, price for oil elevated this morning north of $57 per barrel. It's actually not a bad thing when you consider what uh, energy trade does for the Canadian economy. But the root of this partly is what's going on in Saudi Arabia, where there was a crackdown on corruption over the weekend with a number of uh, princes arrested in a potential power grab by the leader of Saudi Arabia. But this could also lead to a continuation of the OPEC production cuts because Crown Prince uh, Salman has been in favor of those. So the price for oil reacting to that. Uh, it has led to a higher valuation for energy stocks at the Toronto Stock Exchange, so much so that the Toronto market has set records for five of the past seven trading days. TSX up another 72 points in yesterday's trade. We also have Wall Street coming off the 57th record of the year for the Dow Jones Industrials average. The all-time record for number of records in a single year was actually 1994 when the Dow set 77 in that year. All of the benchmarks stateside at records to start this morning. Uh, big buzz in media circles this morning regarding a potential buyout of 21st Century Fox by Disney. Now, the companies say they're not in talks right now, but they had held some discussions. That would be a multi-billion dollar deal and would consolidate power for Disney and maybe consolidate uh, the movie industry, which has not exactly had the best year, but uh, some big uh, box office expectations coming up later. And Snapchat is uh, dispelling some rumors that uh, were making the rounds on the web yesterday that it was going to shut down in November. It was a fake news site, apparently, and Twitter uh, founder Evan Spiegel, who hasn't been on Twitter, or Snapchat founder Evan Spiegel, who hasn't been on Twitter for two years, uh, took to Twitter yesterday. No truth to the rumor. Having said that, Snapchat was down for a couple of hours last night. Some technical issues as the company gets ready to report earnings today. Kevin? Not good timing. No, not right. at all. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mike Apple.